being too proud to smile, too proud to hug another man or give the time of day to a stranger's plans. I just walk on by, stone-faced, rigid, a boxer from the age of five, raised by a father who loved betting on fights so much that he put our own lives on the table. So I became a fighter, a fighter to fight for my father, to fight for his pride. I became a man who'd rather punch himself in the face than let out a sob. Too proud to keep friends close, I kept strangers closer until I became just another angry face, a stranger to myself. Too proud to admit defeat even after late night bouts with self-doubt and broken dreams. Once, I would say I'm too proud to fear, too proud to shake in the face of death, too proud to throw in the towel in a final round beating, too proud to let up the pounding as my opponent cowered in the corner. I was a fighter who'd never back down, who'd go further than you, and if you tested me, I'd lay anyone's life on the table and place a bet on the color of my trunks because my pride would not let me lose. So every time I'd win, regardless of what I would lose along the way, I'd win. Too proud to see that winning is what lost me my mind, my health, my knee, all of my friends and victory, which was the only thing I ever wanted, meant fighting everything and everyone. Once, I thought I'd never get knocked down. Already vicious, by the age of eight, I was taught to break the bones of those who opposed me, and by 16, I nearly killed a man with my bare hands because I never backed down to anyone. A fighter to the core, who never knew that eight years down the road, he'd finally feel the fierce hit that would set him straight when he stepped into the most dangerous ring of all. The classroom. <laughs> Once, I would stand too proud. I would stand like a fighter, forever pissed off at the world, always on guard, but now, Damn, I stand corrected. Humbled by the blows of the students before me, I struggle to remain standing at all. My boxing trunks have been replaced with dress slacks. <laughs> my glare has been replaced with a smile, and my anger has been replaced with enthusiasm. Once, I was too proud to be me. Because I was a fighter, but I have no more pride left in me. I'm now the shell of a fighter who stands before his class every day like it's his last fight. And every bell that rings reminds me that I'm still that fighter who'd never back down, who'd go further than you, and if you tested me, I'd play it all out on the table and place a bet on the students before me. And being proud of them, I bet they proved me right. So every time, I'd fight for them, regardless of what I would lose along the way, I'd fight. Too humble to see that fighting is what lost me my mind, my health, my ribs, my family, and victory, which was the only thing I had ever wanted, meant doing what I'd never done before. It meant Accepting defeat. You see, I never knew what it truly meant to be a fighter. To have taken the hit, broken the nose, and cried. Nearly died from the devastating fall from undefeated champion to just another contender. So lately, as I stand pouring over letters from students who have no desire to break bones or beat bruises into the backs of their opponents, they have still hit me harder than any boxer ever could with their words, thanking me for fighting for them. No matter how many rounds I went down, I'm still that fighter who now has a reason for fighting. And that is why I walk back every day into this ring.